Bonjour, in this episode we shoot long exposure with the new Sony a7R without a tripod and without any filters. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs and welcome to episode 96 of my photography, lightroom and photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli, I'm a, still a French photographer, still living in the beautiful city of Paris. In last episode, I showed you how I shot a, a room in the Hotel Ares, Paris. This is the final result. The whole idea was to uh, find out how to make an exposure for the inside and for the outside and mix both. This week, we are going to walk around Paris with this amazing new camera, the Sony a7R. And I'm going to show you how you can shoot long exposure without a tripod and without any filter. And why it's important to shoot long exposure when you do a hybrid landscape. So here it is. Okay guys, just before we get started, if you want to get the raw files for free of what I'm going about to show you, you can go to start, uh, sorry, to news, sign up, and you put your name and your email and you will get a page. And on that page, you will get all the raw files for all the episodes. And that's how the page looks. This is how it looks. You've got all the episodes. You can just scroll through to see, you know, what it's talking about and just click here and you download. You got over 80 free raw files from Rome, from the USA, from Paris, the Mont Saint-Michel, the Alps, restaurants in Paris, hotels everywhere, the Antelope in uh, Arapage, Arizona, the whole world, uh, from Israel, from Jerusalem, from the Dead Sea, everywhere, all this for free. Uh, all you have to do is subscribe to my newsletter and allow me, allow me to send you two newsletters per week, inviting you to eventually, you know, buy my full courses. Just as a reminder, because, you know, like everybody, I need to pay some bills. Uh, if you want to support what I'm doing, I know I do a lot of free stuff, but I also have some paid stuff. And the latest being the complete volume of all my presets, 250 presets which you can roughly get for $50 because I still have the code 2014 and my winter landscape course, which you can get for $40, which is the best shots uh, I've done in winter. And I show you all, it's like two hours of video, how I've retouched everything. I'm giving you all the raw files. And I usually go a lot more in depth than what I'm showing you here on the free stuff. So now let's get to the tutorial. So I just wanted to share with you guys a, a couple of tips and tricks uh, about shooting uh, loan exposure without using ND filters. Uh, now, this is going to be about the new Sony a7R, which I'm totally crazy about. I still shoot Canon. I have the Canon 5D Mark II, 7D, and I have also the 6D. I didn't buy the 5D Mark III. I bought this one instead, and I'm really happy about it. Uh, I mean, Canon is very good for shooting uh, in studio, but for what I do, which is big landscapes that I do big prints on, I prefer using the Sony because um, because I like to travel light. That's the main thing. You see, the way I, I work is that I take photo all the time, but literally every day or all the time in case something happens. So uh, I cannot have the 5D Mark III with me with a tripod and it's just too heavy. So I, I bought a very small bag and this is my game these days is to have one lens only, which is this one, the 2.8 35mm, which was made for the Sony. And... Um, I want to show you a little trick that I find which is really useful, which is to shoot long exposure without using an ND filter. I don't even know if you have an ND filter yet for that camera. Probably there is. I don't know. I haven't tried. But um, there's a lot of stuff that I like. And what, what's gonna, what I'm telling you about the Sony is, is, uh, works for any camera. Basically, what I do is I work in manual mode. You can see here it's in manual mode. And um, now... Some of you know this by heart. I'm just, you know, this is just an introduction to loan exposure in case some people don't know, but this is how I do it sometimes. So I put on manual mode and then you see this wheel here and this wheel here, there's two wheels there, is basically one is going to change the exposure and yes, one is going to change the aperture. In fact, this wheel changes the aperture and this wheel changes uh, the, the speed. And so what I do is that I, I, I put my aperture on f22. So I have a very small aperture. So there is hardly any light that comes in. And then I just look at the viewfinder and I turn. Oh, the other thing that I do is I go here. And with this wheel, by default, you can change the ISO. And the ISO can go as low as 64, which is really cool because uh, 
there is no noise and it forces lone exposure. So I put my ISO at 64. Uh, here I put my um, timer uh, until I have like an okay exposure from what I see from the back screen. And on this one, on this photo, I think it was about six seconds. Now, this is one of the first shots that I did. This is not a lone exposure. This is just, if I press I, this is a F4.5 ISO 400 180. Now, I also shot this manual. I, this is first to try. You know, what I do is I, I put first the time 180 because 180, I know I will have a sharp photo. Then I put F4.5 because that's the minimum, minimum you can use for landscape. And then I just boosted the ISO until I have an exposure that I like. That was just my first try. But you see, what I don't like about Herbert Landscape, when you have, uh, and I really don't like that, is this. Look, the water. The water is very, uh, I think it's, ag it's aggressive, you know. The, that's the river, the Seine, on the, in the river in Paris. And it's just the texture is like, I just don't like how it looks, you know. So then I did the trick that I showed you. And check this out. This is 2.5 seconds of F22. ISO 50, or it actually goes down to ISO 50. And uh, so you have a very, not noisy, but look the, the difference of texture between this and this. And that's only 2.5 seconds, you know, and, and the, the city lights were still not on. The city lights were still not on. So it's like, uh, it's, it's not very nice. You know, I was waiting for the city lights to come on. So I, I kind of move further. Oh, that's one thing you need to watch when you, you uh, cause I didn't even have a tripod. So what I did is I was just putting it, you know, on, um, I don't know how you call this, but basically on the, you know, on the stones that you have there on the, on the, on the sidewalk. So that it just would hold still, but then I was holding it in my hand, but if you move a little bit, you know, you get this blurry shot. So then I continued and make sure I don't move. And then I got this shot. And it started to be okay. The city light started to come on. This is already four seconds. And just I just like the water. It's just like it, it gets, you know, fuzzy and it's less aggressive for the eye, you know. And then I keep on walking and that's a bit better. It's a bit later on. Now we're at six seconds of exposure. But then I, I got it down to F13 because uh, I didn't need to be at F22. And that's a good thing because when you are at F22, this is what's happening. You get all kind of spots. Even so, this camera is brand new. Look, there is spots here, spots there. That's what happened when you're at F22. So it's better to wait a little bit more. You know, the city lights are coming on. It's getting darker. So you don't need to be at F22 to get long exposure. So I went down to F13 and I was at six seconds, right? Six seconds. And uh, well, I don't like the framing on this one. So I moved a little bit on the left and oh, that framing I liked a bit more. And uh, and you see the water is just nicer. So I'm going to retouch this one so you can see, uh, uh, you know, just a simple retouching. I'm just going to open the shadows, bring down the highlights. You know the trick now. Uh, do my white points with the old key. I'm going to move to the right. I'm going to do the blacks. I'm going to boost the overall exposure of the photo, like very much. And I think I'm going to go on shade because uh, shade is just going to make it a bit warmer and just add a bit of magenta, something like that. And you see, this is a 36 million pixel. So I can totally crop as much that I want. I'm going to go in here. And I mean, there is still spot also at F13, but not as much as F22. I want to make a panel uh, out of it, something like that. And uh, probably use the ND filter to, uh, but you see how six seconds gets me the, uh, the, you know, the, the clouds to be a bit fuzzy. I like that. So I'm going to press the Alt key for reset. I move the, the exposure a bit down you know, add some clarity and, uh, okay. Uh, remove some spot there maybe. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to add clarity even more, a, a bit of vibrance. Uh, and, uh, now on the back here, I don't like what the clarity does to the water. It just makes the water a bit again, too much aggressive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an ND filter for the, for the, um, the bottom of the photo, I'm going to put a minus clarity, just minus clarity and a bit lower exposure just to close the photo, something like that. And uh, like that. Right. Okay. That that's, that's the final retouch and it's still very high res. It's still 7,360 pixels large and look at the quality. You know, this is a six second shot hand on held, you know, and the cars are all like this. So it's just, I find it when you do night shot, it's just nicer when you have long exposure. I mean, the best is to have a tripod, but as I said, I want to travel light. So this is my challenge. One lens, 35 millimeter, 
and just finding stones where I can rest my camera on. It's a bit crazy, but that's, you know, it just, it just, uh, it makes, it makes it harder in one way. But on the other end, I just like the constraint of the 35 millimeter. I like the constraint of not having a tripod. Let me give you an ex another example. I was walking down, it was getting really dark. I was trying to uh, shoot this by hand. So this is 2000 ISO. Now 2000 ISO is really, look, look at the at the noise in, you know, it's, I mean, this is the raw file, you know, but it's very noisy. It's still, it's not very usable. So what I do is that I put it down to 64 ISO, put it on the wall here, and, and now I get a six second exposure and I get the streaks of light. You know, it's nicer. And, and the sand, look at the sand, it's really nicer. It's not aggressive as this. Look how this is aggressive and look how this is not aggressive, you know. And you can do this with any camera. You just have to find a wall, you know, if you don't have a tripod, you know, and just put on a manual mode, forcing like uh, the lowest ISO you can go to. And that's what's good about this camera. It can go down to 50 ISO. That's amazing, you know. On, uh, and on Canon, on Nikon, sometimes it's only 200 and on some Canon, it's only 100. You know, lower you can go, better it is because longer exposure you're gonna get, easier, you know. And then what you do is you just, I repeat, you know, you just go on manual, uh, you put your aperture, like if, if it's, let's say if it's, if the city lights are not on yet, go to F22. If the city lights are already on, it's very dark, F13 will do the trick, right? And then you just go, uh, this is the ISO for the Sony, but, and you just put the lower ISO you can, and then you just, and then you're just gonna play around with the, uh, with the time, four, five, six seconds. Longer you can, better it is. If you can go up to 30 seconds, it can be very nice because uh, the, you know, the clouds is gonna get even more stretchy, the water is gonna be even more silky, you know, it can be cool. Okay, and this is the last photo that I took. This is Bastille, a very nice area in Paris. That's just a raw file. Uh, and so um, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the white balance. Now this is getting really late. You know, we are like after sunset, it's almost, almost in the night. So what I do is I usually go directly for fluorescent or I go for tungsten and I check to see which one looks best. Probably tungsten is good. And then I'm just gonna open up the shadows, bring the exposure, bring down a bit the highlights, maybe not so much, something like that. Do my white point. So white point, I move to the right. Do my black point, something like that. Add some clarity, you know, and, uh, and uh, I think I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna make this one more panoramic. I think I'm gonna go to the limit here and I'm gonna go way down here, you know, just to make it sort of a pano. And I still have a lot of pixels and look the quality of this thing, it's really good. And this is again, you know, this is again six second exposure. And so the water is very silky, it's very smooth. It's very nice, you know, I like it. I'm gonna add some contrast to it and uh, some vibrance maybe, boost again the exposure. Uh, and I'm going to put an ND filter on top, uh, but I'm going to reset, press the Alt key, it's going to reset everything, lower the exposure, something like that. You know, you get the idea. I think, uh, yeah, my highlights is, are too bright now, so I'm going to get my highlights a bit, something like that. And voila, and uh, that's a nice photo of the Bastille area, which is a beautiful part of Paris. And uh, Lone exposure, lone exposure without a tripod, without any filter, just with my bare hands. And I still get some good shot, uh, but uh, thanks to the Sony A7R, an amazing camera. But don't, f for all the Canon fans out there, I still love Canon. I'm just, you know, it's just when I travel light, I travel Sony. When I travel heavy and I want to get muscle, I travel Canon. That's how I, that's how I go. Okay, guys, hope uh, this inspired you to go out and shoot. Okay, guys, I hope you like this tutorial. It's really fun to do because I can really walk around very light and sometimes take amazing pictures and do big prints. Uh, please share these episodes on your social network. That'd be very nice. And I will see you in the next episode. Au revoir.